Hi, welcome to Highland Homesteading. Today we're taking a look at our rainwater system. So this isn't usually how we have this. We have this uh, elbow and piece that goes on and fits in this hole here. So I'll just put that in place. We just have it uh, friction fit on that junction there so that uh, we can pull that off and pull this lid off. So we got two 55 gallon rain barrels here and they have these spigots, but I don't recommend using those. Uh, the water barely flows out of those even with them all the way full. So you can see this is the only um, flow into the rain harvesting system. And what we did was we cut uh, some holes with a hole saw and put a three quarter inch pipe through there. So if I unscrew the top, you can see here, this will overflow once this one gets up to the uh, level of that pipe. It will overflow into this rain barrel on the right. We got uh, some monsoons just last week and those filled up really fast and from there they actually flow out this pipe. So this one is just a little bit higher than the one that connects them so that they fill up first and then once they get close to the top then this pipe uh, just sticks out a little bit and then it will flow through here and go down to this 90 degree bend, go to down here up this 90 degree bend and then up to that 90 and over and down into these Rubbermaid 100 gallon stock tanks. So we have three of them underneath our deck here. And as you can see, we have ball valves on each of them that um, we found these adapters that go into those ball valves there. And um, uh, the ball valve goes into those adapters actually and then the adapter threads into the stock tank and the reason that we have all these valves and we have all of this um, tied together with this three quarter inch pipe is so that we can uh, regulate how the water will flow so currently it will flow out of that pipe into here and you can see it's pretty full and I'll tell you about this here in just a moment but um, right now this one is open. This one's closed, so it's not gonna go anywhere out of here. You can see it's closed here, and then this one just comes straight out to the T here. So these two connect to this first one that gets filled up, and then if we want the rest of them filled up, we can just open it here, and they will even out to whatever level this first one is at. So I just keep those closed for now. Once this one gets close to being full, then we'll open one or both of them up and they will um, just regulate the height of the water um, to, be, um, to be all the same level. So then uh, if you open this one up, it goes down this pipe, of course, and it's open right now, so it could actually go down there. I can close that off so that I can regulate the height of the water here real soon. Then this one here is both a clean out and a vent. So right now this is just a friction fit on here. I'm gonna go and get an adapter here so I can put this on here and then put the hose um, onto this fitting here and uh, spray the municipal water down the pipe. And so that's the way to clean it out. And for the winter so that we don't have 
water staying in this pipe, I can uh, just open this up and it'll vent it out and all of the water will go down to the bottom. So uh, from here, you can see it makes a right hand turn and it goes down our wall. And let me show you where that goes. All right, so that pipe goes off of those stock tanks down along the wall here. And then it goes down underneath our gravel and out out there into our backyard. And let me show you where it goes from there. All right, so once it comes down along the wall here and out from underneath the gravel, it goes along this wall. Now we're planning to bury this once the ground gets soft with the rain. So it's almost there now. And we've got some extra pipe here to run it farther down into the property. But it goes underneath here and then it comes along the wall and then it turns left here. We'll be burying this real soon. And it comes along our garden wall here up to this spigot. So we have another ball valve here that we can turn on and then we can have a hose to water the garden. We can have some drip that ir irrigate the garden. Uh, we will likely put on another splitter here, um, but this hose currently goes all the way down to the fruit trees and the willow trees, so that's how we're watering those. But it also goes from this T all the way down here, and it's capped currently. We're planning to run this pipe all the way down uh, to the orchard where we have the fruit trees. All right, so as I said, I would mention what this is here. So this is a stock tank float valve, and it's specifically made for stock tanks, so you can use these bolts, uh, these finger bolts to just tighten it on there, and you can put it at uh, kind of whatever height you want. Uh, we have it pretty high up here right now, but you just connect a garden hose right here to the inlet and turn on the water for the municipal, municipal water, and then uh, this is just the float valve so once the water level comes up it pushes it up high enough it turns it off so if we want to run this system all the way down to the fruit trees it's easy to do so off municipal water if we haven't been getting enough rainwater so that's what that is for currently all right so there's our rain gutter going into the four inch uh, pvc drain pipe and you can see at the top there's some screening so that keeps leaves and sticks that end up on the roof from going into the pipe and then they blow off or we can get up there on a ladder and just brush them off if need be. From there the pipe goes down and it goes into this clean out here. So this this clean out is the first flush and that's really important to have and then it goes into here and the front uh, rain gutters drain into here. So this T goes down this way, and it goes up, and then it goes to this reducer, and that's where it meets the ABS pipe and connects here. And now I'll show you where this pipe comes from. All right, the rain has stopped and it's just trickling down, but this is a four inch to two inch uh, adapter. And on top of that is some screen and uh, some screws to hold the screening in there. And again, that keeps the debris out of there that might come down through the rain gutters. And then that pipe just goes straight down. And we're going to put a clean out on there. And the good thing about the clean outs is that um, they will catch all the sediment from the first flush of the rain. So you can unscrew those and then uh, get rid of all the debris and uh, sediment that gets trapped in there. And then the water will uh, go past it and go up into the rain barrel. So from there, it just goes under here and uh, goes under our deck and back over. So again, this is what the clean out looks like. So it goes straight down and then the sediment gets collected here. Right now we have a little bit of a leak here, so I've got a bucket underneath it, but you just uh, unscrew this and then all of the debris sediment comes out as well as that uh, column of water that's just sitting there but that allows all the sediment to go straight down and then once it's there the water will fill up and then spill out over here 
and then go down. We have another clean out on the front yard as well. You can see that pipe goes all the way up to there. So that is pretty much it for our rainwater harvesting system. This time we're gonna make continual modifications to it, but it's fun collecting your own rainwater and being able to use it uh, on your plants. So if you have any questions, let me know in a comment below. I'm Nick from Highland Homesteading. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll have more videos for you real soon.